<sighs> okay, so I've said this once and I'll say it again. When Apple says an update is a beta update, it's meant to be taken as a beta update. No more, no less. If you highly expect a lot from a beta, you're going to be disappointed and your heart is going to be broken. Like for me, an application that I use like every day to make my videos keeps crashing. And not only that, but my maximum battery health capacity dropped by 2%. Yeah, I know. Let's talk. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Half Man Up Tech. I'm your host Ben, and yep, I've been using macOS Pixel Beta 9. This is developer Beta 9 that I'm on for about two days now. And oh my goodness, I gotta say that this update, in my opinion, for people who do video making, uh, Final Cut Pro keeps on crashing. And you know, I actually worked on a lot of videos, and then I realized that with this beta 9 update when you want to save your video or share your video to different platforms final cut pro the moment you click on the share icon final cut pro just crashes and quits sometimes it loses everything in the project that you are working on and you have to restart again or sometimes it just quits and you know you just left with a project that you can't save so if my videos do look plain and boring it's because I'm on macOS Pixel Beta 9 and this bug keeps affecting me so, so much. So if you are doing video making, watch out for this bug. And I actually don't recommend you update if you use Final Cut Pro to edit most of your videos and effects and, you know, transition. So that's the first bug. The second bug that I noticed with this update has to do with Microsoft Word or Microsoft Apps like Teams and so on, the moment you enter into full screen mode, the moment you want to exit full screen mode, this does not allow you to exit full screen mode. And the only way you can actually do this is if you go to your dock and then, you know, quit your application from there or force quit your application. This is a bug that was apparently there from beta six and beta seven, and it's been carried over all the way to beta nine. So Apple, if you're watching this, Another bug that came with this update has to do with unlocking your MacBook using your Apple Watch. So on beta 9, this feature is not working. And yeah, if you didn't know, you can actually unlock your MacBook using your Apple Watch. All you need to do is to just make sure your Apple Watch and your MacBook are signed into the same iCloud and you have a passcode on your Apple Watch. And once you do this, make sure you also have watchOS three and beyond and also make sure your mark is updated to the latest available public version and once you do this just go into your system preferences and then go to where it says security and privacy and make sure you're in the general tab and then if you look on the options that you have there you see an option that says use your apple watch to unlock your mark so this is a good thing but apparently on macOS pixel beta 9 this feature is not working I, I actually did use it on beta 8 like for a day before i updated when i got my watch but on macOS pixel beta 9 this is not working and you have to type in your password manually if you don't have a macbook that has the fingerprint scanner my wi-fi performance sort of dropped a little bit I'm in a place whereby, you know, I'm not too far off from the network access point. It's actually not too far off. And sometimes, you know, I get like two bars and that has actually not happened before on my Mac because I'm, I'm not too far from the Wi-Fi. But on MacOS Pixel Beta 9, I noticed that my network performance has sort of dropped. And this is Wi-Fi connection. I'm not using Ethernet or wired connection. So just keep an eye on your Wi-Fi if you use it when you update to macOS Pixel or if you're already on macOS Pixel, you can sort of also measure your network speed and see how that has affected your Wi-Fi performance if you're on beta 9 of macOS Pixel. In Maps, I noticed this also on the iPhone. Let me just find my iPhone here. So in Maps on iOS 14, this is iOS 14.0.1 that is here. And also on macOS Pixel Beta 9, I noticed that biking directions within Vancouver and Richmond are not available. This is in Canada, so I don't know what is going on there, but 
I did report this in the feedback app and just look out for this if you live in Vancouver or Richmond when you are on iOS 14.0.1 or macOS Pixel Beta 9. Automatic handover with the AirPods Pro is a bit glitchy, it's like up and down again. So this is a bug that was there like on beta six and seven, and it's still here on macOS Pixel beta nine. So you might, you know, be using your AirPods Pro on your iPhone normal with no problem. And then if you play something on the iPad, audio will play correctly. But if you play something or receive a FaceTime call, let's say for example, on the Mac that is on macOS Pixel Beta 9, then this is sometimes working and sometimes it's a bit glitchy. So just keep in mind that this might happen from time to time, but not always. Now, when it comes to a few more changes that I managed to notice and also that I some of you managed to comment in the comment section of my previous video, I noticed that we have a few more applications that have actually been touched up. And the first one has to do with the message app so if you look at the shadows in the center of the messages app you notice that they have been updated slightly the center of the messages app is just a little bit darker and also the next app that has been updated in terms of shadows is the FaceTime app again this is more towards the central part of the application and you have to look at it closely in order to see these changes and compare it to what we had on the previous betas in terms of shadows being removed from application on beta 9 I noticed that Safari Safari one is lighter so the application itself shadows have been reduced when it comes to Safari however when you open Safari and open multiple tabs you notice that you know the tabs shadows are have actually been updated and so you can see like a good contrast between your Safari tabs and the rest of the web page or application that you are using which is good I mean I think I like the new look that we have here so it's good that this has been updated and also so in terms of uh, shadows being reduced or removed from an application, you notice that the app store that we have here has reduced shadows also. So some applications gain some shadows and some other applications got their shadows reduced. This is something that we are going to see throughout the beta updates until we get to the official release of macOS Pixel. Although at this moment, there isn't a lot of betas left, but you know, just keep in mind that you know you might see a few changes when it comes to you know the icons and how macOS Pixel basically looks. Now, when it comes to battery performance, it's true, I did lose like 2% of my battery maximum health capacity on beta 6 and beta 7 and beta 8 I was actually on 88% and when I updated to macOS Pixel beta 9 it actually dropped to 86% so I lost 2% now this doesn't mean that you know it's a bug or it's an issue with macOS Pixel beta 9 it could be the recalculation that came with the update itself so if it's a bug we won't know with this beta we just know it with the next beta and if it increases it would mean that that was a bug that came with macOS Pixel Beta 9. But overall though, despite my battery health dropping by 2%, I'm getting about nine hours of battery performance, which is like the normal that I'm used to. So it actually didn't drop, but you know, my battery health did drop. I will let you know what the next beta, how this goes. Now, when it comes to uh, performance, I did buy Geekbench scores. So yeah, I can now do some Geekbench performance and show you how my device is performing and also compare it to other devices that are of the same range. So as you can see here, these are the scores that I actually got when I ran Geekbench 5 score on CPU for my 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro. And you can see that, you know, it's actually performing higher compared to other devices of this nature and this year. So performance wise, when it comes to CPU, it's a bit high. And when it comes to GPU performance, I can't really sort of compared to the previous update because this is the first Geekbench score that I'm doing. So I'll have to see when beta 10 comes out, how it will compete when it comes to both CPU and GPU performance for the MacBook. So basically performance wise, I think it's good. Uh, the bugs that are there aren't 
affecting CPU and GPU, which is something that is good that, you know, we can see with macOS Pixel Beta 9. Now, this is an important question that I get asked all the time. When is macOS Pixel going to officially be released? So this is the thing. macOS Catalina 10.15 was released officially on the 7th of October 2019. So we are now in October and macOS Pixel is currently on beta 9 and macOS Catalina 10.15 reached all the way to beta 10 and then we got the GM version of Catalina after a week and then it was officially released on the 7th of October 2019. So Mac OS Big Sur has probably beta 10 and then the GM version and then we'll see the official public release to everyone. If we were to like estimate, Mac OS Big Sur is officially expected to be released perhaps on the 6th of October 2020. If not, then on the 14th of October 2020 after the Apple event that is rumored to take place on the 13th of October 2020. If that does not happen, then some sources are actually saying that there's going to be a November event whereby Apple is going to showcase their new 13 and 16 inch Apple Silicon Max. So it could be delayed all the way until November. But once we get the GM version, then we'll definitely know when it's officially going to be released. But at this time, I'm sort of basing my dates and expectations according to how Catalina was released, how production is going this year and also what's expected you know when it comes to the Apple Silicon Max. So that's about it for me when it comes to a small update when it comes to macOS Pixel Beta 9 that I'm on currently. Whether you should update or not I think at this time if you don't do video production because if you do then your Final Cut Pro will really not work for you as you can see for me here and also if you use Microsoft apps like Teams and Outlook and so on then Beta 9 can sort of you know disturb your workflow so if you use those Microsoft services then also you should sort of hold on when it comes to updating to this beta of macOS Pixel. Besides that I think it's a good update but you know this is my experience so far and I've been using it for about two days and that's about it for me guys if you like this video and found it informative enough please leave a like and also comment below what I should you know try to improve on and if you like the content on the channel please hit subscribe and stick around and we have a lot of content coming your way when it comes to macOS Pixel and also Apple Silicon so that's about it for me guys stay safe and I will definitely see you in the next video very soon. Peace.